What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to one of my favourite videos of the week and that is the 126 foot draft challenge, that's right, I don't know why, sometimes I fall out of love with the foot draft challenges where I'm like, oh I'm kind of just doing it to do it and then sometimes I'm like, no I really want to build some cool drafts, you know we're getting some really cool icons in drafts at the moment, uh, EA are putting some, obviously there's so many promos this year that we're getting some really cool cards and the way FIFA is this year I like a lot of different formations, which is the first time in a long time. And the way FIFA is for drafts this year as well is you can actually take multiple different formations and still get extremely high rated drafts. Whereas in previous years, there was always that like one go to formation wasn't there where it's like, look, if you want the best highest rated draft, you've got to go for this one. We are going to take Johan Cruyff as our striker. Guys, of course, if you're enjoying the content, you want to drop a thumbs up. It would be very much appreciated. And if you are new here, feel free to subscribe. And uh, yeah, let's see if Future Stars Team 2 is going to allow us to generate our first 126 of the year. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. And so with that, guys, let's hit the right wing. Ooh, someone big. Team of the Year, Hansen. Why not? Nope. I'm going to take Count there over Diani. He's got a way better card. He's got only two ratings lower and better links with that Premier League um, hero badge thing. Oh, let it be. Give me Thunderstruck Ronaldinho and then give me the 95 Ronaldinho and give me both Maldinis. Why not? Start me off right. All right, we'll take Rudiger, higher version. Do like that. Midfield number one. Take Zalazar. It's going to be hard to link without multiple more icons. Ooh, that's a nice selection. That is Patrick Guijaro. I tell you what, guys. For me personally, in the center of the park, I like big, beefy cards like Zidane's Hullets, like even like Bruno Fernandez. Like, okay, he's only like five ten or five eleven, but he's just got like a big frame. And I really don't like the small players. Like, Not that I don't like them. I actually used Little Kim for hundreds of games, her Thunderstruck card, and I really enjoyed it. But I just found that I just kept getting overrun in midfield with the short female midfielders or just the small midfielders in general. But Patri is just different, man. She's just different. I don't know. One of them, one, for me personally, and maybe it's the play styles, for me personally, one of the most underrated cards uh, in the game this year. We are going to take this Lothar Matthaus because, of course, German links to Rudiger. Another icon link. And he can play centre back. So it's nice to have that in our back pocket if we need to swap out one of these uh, low end centre backs for a high end centre back. And with that, that is not the greatest back line. It's, it's an all right draft. You know, we're going to need miracles on the reserves to get full chemistry here, but it's not impossible. All right, we'll take 92 Cafu. It's a shame he doesn't have right mid. We're going to take, yes, yeah, so even Joao Cancelo doesn't have right mid or left mid, which is a shame. Good to put on the bench, though, but I need an upgrade in that midfield spot or in that defensive spot. Hostage is not it. Oh, dear. Well, I needed a big bench, guys, and we have been let down by EA. A for it. I'm going to take Frank Ribery. I'm going to go there instead of Grimaldo. I'm going to give us six chemistry, which is whopping. And we've got a team of the year, Lionel Messi. You love to see it. Does he have right wing? He does have right wing. Oh, that's nice. But Messi there, we lose two. Drop them around. We gain four. We're up to 31. Who's off chem? Centre mid, centre back. That's all right, because if we get a better centre mid, we don't have at the moment, but if we do get a better, better centre mid... We can put uh, Lothar Matthaus down in that centre-back spot. Garnacho. 90 rated only. Also got right wing as an option. Doesn't, doesn't help. Doesn't help. Nice little upgrade on the bench though. Takes us to basically a 90 rating once we get everything else sorted. Yeah, unfortunately, unless we get... I mean, even if we get miracles, we're not getting what we want here. Amavinga is our better centre mid. So we'll pop him there. We lose two. We pop them. We gain three. Now we're just missing chemistry on 
Salazar, Uruguayan manager, would be needed to upgrade him. It is now a 90 rated squad. Um, yay. It would be better for the chemistry. Solar doesn't fit into the team anyway. That just guarantees that we get the chem. Obviously, we're not going to get the rating here. But again, not a bad draft. I mean, we've got, what, three, four, five icons, a team of the year. Other than Hernandez at centre-back, a generally cracking team. Manuel Petit becomes a final centre-back. Only a 90-rated squad still, but we're, we're basically a 1-2-3, maybe a 1-2-4, pending the goalkeeper. No, it's just a 1-2-3. Not a bad way to kick things off for today, though, guys. Let's get into attempt number two. All right. Attempt number two. Let's go. Ooh. Yeah. 4 3 3 false 9. Why not? Why not? We're starting with. Rui Costa in a centre mid. He doesn't actually have centre mid. Oh, does Quadrado go? I wish he went to right back rather than right wing. I will take Quadrado, though. Thunderstruck Quadrado. If we get like on a battle or a team of the year at right back, that's great. And if not, we can put Quadrado at right back for a sub off the bench, you know, team of the year Messi or something like that. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 95 Johan Cruyff, 94 Pushkas was there as well. Left wing. Hmm. Give me that Thunderstruck Vinicius Jr. We like that. Then a midfielder number one. Vieira. Oh, what a card. What a Cardier. Come on. Keep up the momentum. Never mind. Keep a Rodri team of the... No, we don't. Classy. In at the left back. Thunderstruck again there. It's Kieran Tierney. Got Emerson as well, though. We'll pop him in. Don't have to worry about the chemistry just yet. We'll start developing that from the uh, from the bench, which is going to be a lot easier with players like Yashin in the team as well. We'll grow uh, Jansen in there. Then in goal. Oh, yeah. Mary Earps. Love that. So this is a 90 rated, only 22 chemistry, but two, three extremely low rated players and three mid range players. Very easy to upgrade. I guess we need to go for David Alaba here, don't we? Plus three on the chem as well, which is nice. It's only a plus two on the rating, though, which is not so nice. Okay, that one is terrible. Betty Pele, not centre forward, but Johan Cruyff's already got that covered. Got Orsolini. Do right wing. Arda Gula can do right wing. Gets those Real Madrid links, and he's higher rated than Quadrado, and it's better for chemistry as well. So we'll pop him in there. Not quite the highest rated card that we could have taken, but still probably the most sensible card. And Baston has got centre. Oh no, he's got. Damn, how has he not got centre? Emre Chan has got the DM. Uh, sorry, uh, I suppose we could put Classy at centre mid. Is this Emre Chan? <clears throat> Is he going to get chemistry first of all? Not really. Only the icons are helping him. Julian Brandt, the same. They will both replace the centre mid that's there. Or is it better just to take a Van Basten for the bench? I think so. 86 in that midfield spot isn't going to be good enough, I don't think. We'll take Zola over Messi because we, of course, want Team of the Year Messi. We'll take Benzema on that occasion as well. Maybe Bellingham would have actually been the smart choice there. I know he's got a Team of the Year, but putting that 86 Bellingham in that centre midfield spot would have been quite nice. We've got the 88 Xerxy, who I think is cracked in game. This draft, though, guys, not going to be it, is it? Even if we get a couple of big players like that right now, this draft is not going to be it. Even if I had made a few other choices and taken Bellingham instead and such, it, it wouldn't have made all that much difference. Joan Jordan would have helped a little bit more there as well. Uh, Eusebio, I mean, for the rating, although the bench is actually quite hard to, to upgrade. The 91 rated squad, we're not going to get the chemistry. Not going to get the chemistry. And uh, yeah, let's get into attempt number three. All right, guys. Attempt number three. Here we go. Let's go for the 4-4-2 flat. We don't take this formation much. 
Maybe the rotation will be kind to us. We will start with the David Ginola. Two strikers here. Give me a team of the year. Start off nicely. Uh, how about now? Well, still, you know. Take 88 yards of that. Okay. Don't like this formation. Give me a team of the year, yeah. Come on. Damn, that's actually tough because Lothar Matthaus has got a 93. Putelas has got a 97. We'll take Matthaus. He has centre-back spot as well, which I just really like. Again, having having that ability to uh, split between them is nice. This is tough, actually, because, again, Putelas has got high-rated cards. So has Rodri. Little won't get chemistry. Veron is only 89, but is good for chemistry. What's the odds that we get Rodri team of the year and Patella team of the year slim? So we'll take Rodri just for the chemistry. 91 rated in there. Then in at right back. Trent works well. Chemistry is really nice on this team right now. That's more like it. 95 Ruben Dish. Give me that bright again now, yeah? No, we get 89 Kim Min Jae. Odds to link, so we're going to have to take him out. Unless we get like a Byron, big Byron player or something. Um, for this matters really. Then in goal, Gregorio. Maybe Ramsdale would have been the better one to take, but well, that's not very kind, EA, is it? But we got Tomori Diakite. Got left back as French. The Liga. Get some chemistry. Sorry, French League. Get some chemistry. Tomori, because of the English links. Get some chemistry. In Marcos, because of the Spanish links. We can work with the Marcos, actually. The Marcos goes in there instead of Trent. That gives plus one chem. Trent goes in there instead of Kim Min Jae and then swaps with Lothar Mateus. That gets up to 33. It's just the left back now that is shy of chemistry. And although it might not be great for chemistry, Archawi goes in team of the year number two. This draft is all right. It's all right. It's got hope. It's got hope. Oza has got center mid. Veritz has got left back but no chemistry. Don't need chemistry. In fact, Miroslav Klose is going to be great for it, isn't he? He goes in over Trent. Just helps chemistry massively. Alternatively, we've got Nico Williams, but he's lower rated. We're going to take Miroslav Klose. We get a plus one with him in because Karchawi now goes to two dots. We're still going to need some more links to get her on full chem. Or just a different left back, obviously. And Sissoko is actually very good for that chemistry. Come on, EA. One more team of the year. That's 92. Uh-uh. Antonar, 90. Yaha. Uh -huh. Who's won chem in the in immediate term because of Neto? But Archau is now one link away. We will need a new goalkeeper. Di Gregorio loses one more chemistry. That's tough. That is tough. Ariola. Same rating, maximum chemistry. Okay, I still would like to trade out the goalkeeper, but at least we've got full chem on this draft now because this one's a bit of a bit of a beast of a draft, to be fair. Now, we could go Mohamed Salah, but I think it loses chem on Di Marcos. Maybe not, actually. Orientes, Rodri, and the Icons might be good enough. Or we could go Eusebio, put him over Morientes, which also might hurt the chemistry. I think Salah over... Oh, Yarzabal is the uh, better option. We do lose one. Salah, who doesn't have it, but it's a Premier League or an Egyptian manager. Cover that off. Not a problem. Next up. Take the Virgil van Dijk on this occasion. All came on everybody there. Just for the sac sacrifice of a 90 for an 89. Ayo Saka. Not that he fits into the team, but he does fit onto the bench nicely. Well, that's another one, two, three secured, guys. This is quite a nice draft. It's just, like, we've got a couple of team of the years in this one as well, which is quite nice, but it's really not everything that we want, is it? 
Um, so we've got one more attempt. I'll see you there. All right, guys. The fourth and final attempt. Let's go with the... Let's go with the 4-3-1-2. We don't take this formation often. We will start with 91 Kaka, which isn't bad. Give me a team of the year striker. Come on, set me off right, EA. All right, 92 Mohamed Salah is not bad. And then we're getting dead pick here, aren't we? Yeah, never mind. As Moon. Right, three centre mids. Jong can go in there. I'll take that Putelas. 92 rated. Not quite as good as the uh, team of the year, obviously, but not unreasonably rated either. And we'll put Rakitic in there uh, just for the La Liga links as well and the Nation links too. Well, this draft's not going to be very good, is it? Saved. Saved. Yashin saved. Give me team of the year now. And then we really are saved. Not saved. Go with uh, the Italian. Oh, yeah. Hernandez team of the year. Love that. Ariola's not bad. Premier League and French links. Right. This is salvageable. With those three common golds, this is salvageable. A Real Madrid. Sorry, a Barca. A Barcelona. Right back in there as well. Very good for the rating. Very good for the chemistry. Take the 85 just because of rating. Come on. Hook me up, EA. Bailey goes at striker. That's quite nice. Hmm. King pass plus on your striker could actually be quite dangerous, couldn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. This David Beckham. I want this card in my get in my life, man. Oh, it's, it's incredible, isn't it? So the question we've got is, do we take David Beckham and put him at centre mid? We can't. We've got to take the highest rated. If I was playing to actually play this draft, it would be David Beckham 10 times out of 10. Because we're looking to build a high-rated draft, what we've actually done now, we've got those three common goals off the team. We're not too far away for chemistry from them either. A Premier League centre-back would go down very well. Or an icon would also go down very well. But we've got a chance here if we can get some of these big cards. The question we have is, do we go with Katoto? Good icon links. Gets one chem there. French links is nice as well. Or do we go with Pushkas? Does have the 94. Got to go with. Get plus two either way. So it is just Salah and the centre back that need working. So team of the year Van Dyke, eh? We are Gucci Mang. I am going to take Zola. He's going to go in over Salah. And that's full chemistry for us. Now I just need some huge rating. Ooh. 93 Cruyff is only a plus two on Zola. But 91 Nesta is a huge upgrade on the centre-back. It's a really nice choice of players, isn't it? We're going to do that. We're going to put Nesta in. Might be the wrong choice. We'll only know at the end. We've got 89 Debinha. Might actually get on to the starting eleven. We might need a manager of, you know, a, a manager chem to get her full chemistry. Oh, we lose three. Never mind. All right, three picks to go, yeah? Come on. Couple of team of the years. Ooh, 93 Neymar. That is a huge upgrade on Rakitic. That takes us to a 1 2 4 currently. 92 Cafu. Look at the icons again in this team, man. He have buffed the icon like drop weight in drafts. We've got seven icons in this in this draft. And Salah and Neymar and Hernandez team of the year. Like it is actually a beast of a draft. The last pick, unfortunately, is only going to be Donnell Marlon. And then in goal, go on. Hit me with another icon. Why not, EA? Why not? You're selfish, that's why. However, we are ending on a one, two, four. So not a 1-2-5, not even close to a 1-2-6 today. None of these drafts kind of hit how we would have liked it. That is still a cool draft. That would be a really, really fun one to play, especially with a good bench. But for today, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out.